Hey everyone, Techni here with just a really quick review of some of the coolest keycaps I have ever used, if not the coolest, and that is a new G-Skills Crystal Crown keycaps. Now inside your box you get, well, of course, your keycaps. You also get a keycap puller. Now, by the way, these keycaps are really nice and shrink wrapped really tight in there. So they're not banging around, clanking against each other. Again, when you receive them, they're actually sealed. And I believe it was three or four separate packs right there. So they're not touching and bouncing around. No! Now, taking a closer look at the keycaps here, as you see, they have a black version and then a white version. Now, these are quite different besides them just being, again, black or white. As you see the black one right here, you have your print, number, letter, whatever. And then you have that RGB ring going around it right there talking about the white one it's pretty much just your standard type keycap again you have your print and then it's solid you do not get that ring around there but the cool thing shining point of both of these styles here is the clear bit on the bottom it is just so awesome you can think about this a couple different ways and again we're gonna put these on two uh, boards right here fire them up and actually get a look at them and everything but again think about this as number one RGB really shining through but the other thing I think is cool is like say a custom keyboard say you got a real custom switch one of those strawberry banana tangerine milkshake smoothie switches you know you'll be able to see those through there and I think that's really cool again be able to shine through there and really see that switch or maybe a custom plate you have right there that's what's really cool. Now again, diving into these keycaps even further, you might be wondering, well, what is that made of? And on the bottom right here, it's just basic standard plastic. It's thick, you can't flex them or anything like that. Going to the top right here, they are ABS. That is maybe a little bit of a stinker on them. They're not PBT, again, very smooth right there. The black ones, you definitely see some sweat and fingerprints on them after some time. But believe it or not, they're incredibly grippy. Like, I don't know if it's just a concave, because there's some real nice, perfect concave for my fingers, at least, on these guys. And they just lock into place, because again, my whole finger sits in there, as far as the left, the middle, and the right, and it just, again, it locks into place much better than any other ABS keycap I have used. But again, it is a stinker that they're ABS. All right, so now let's take a look at on two of the boards that I decided to put it on. My first custom right here, this keyboard is so stinking heavy, but anyways, we got the black ones. It kind of brings out that black, white, and red vibe, even when it's seeing there. Now, one thing I don't like about this, let's take a closer look here. I have the Kale Silent Pinks right here. So if you look at it from the angle, you see that pink uh, switch right there, which again, I stated is super cool if you got a custom board, right? But again, I'm not uh, rolling with pink right here, you know what I mean? So that throws off my vibe a bit. Now at night or whenever you're looking straight down on it, you don't see that. But just kind of think about that. Like if you got a red switch under there or a custom switch again, you're gonna see it. And I think that's gonna really just make your board pop even more. So pretty cool in some situations, but like in my situation, eh, a little bit of a stinker. Now coming over to the glorious one right here. This is just, I don't know. This one just looks so good. Again, with the silver, we got the white ice. It came with the white keycaps. But now you got that, and it's real shiny. You got that chrome bit, which was a, a thing I really liked, but now it really flows. Again, matte, gloss, and then into that clear. And I have kale silvers on here too, so it's just, I don't know. It looks so stinking good. You know what I mean? It just flows perfectly. Now, taking a look at both of these boards with the RGB on, as you can see, it just brings it to life. You just get a different vibe of the RGB. It's just so vibrant and so bold, whether it be on the red solid color or something rainbow kind of going through there. You kind of get like, I don't want to say like a, maybe a little sparkle, little shine effect coming out of that clear plastic there. It just looks super cool. I'm not a big RGB fan, right? I don't have all this crazy RGB in my room, but it looks really cool on these keycaps and these boards right here. Now talking about them being ABS, and as I showed you, they're really thick ABS. You might be thinking, ah, man, that's just going to sound incredibly plasticky and clanky on my board. Again, we have two separate boards here, one with the floating keycap design. Uh, kale silvers and then again the kale silent pinks over here and this board I got dampened and I got flex seal on it and everything so again you'll kind of get two variations of sound right here but they really don't sound clanky at all they sound very solid So all in all, this real quick review here, these G-Skill keycaps, they come in at 20 bucks. And again, I seriously love them. I was thinking about, ah, oh, let me just get the white ones, you know, but I had to scoop up these black ones as well, and I'm really glad I did. It's just, again, they're unique. They're really cool. Are they the best keycaps you're gonna find out there? No, you got that ABS, you know, 
Again, I've been gaming. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately, and I have been using this glorious board just because I wanted to use these keycaps, you know? And again, they really lock my fingers in there, surprisingly, because ABS keycaps, again, after a long sesh, you know, hot and heated sesh, you, uh, your fingers will start sliding around a little bit, but it really locks it in, and they feel fantastic. And again, it's just, it's so cool and unique with it sitting on your desk, lit up and everything. I stink and love them at 20 bucks. I highly recommend them. Again, I'd love to see some pictures too. If you're on Twitter, uh, follow at the Techni one and post some pictures there because I'd love to see your combo as well. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by watching this really quick review. Just wanted to show you these awesome keycaps. I hope I helped you out if you're looking into some new keycaps and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. And I hope we catch you in the next one. Bye now.